This is a story about... Change? This is a story about change. Oh, no. It was far from the sort of change Luca imagined for himself. Oh no. But change is, after all, a dangerous animal. The end? What's good, everybody? My name is Chris again. Welcome back to Beacon Pines. Um, our last episode, we were basically getting the lowdown of kind of like the workings of the game and what's actually going on. And we met our little protagonist here, Luca Van Horn. Um, his dad's gone. His mother went missing, which is still a huge mystery. And we actually found out one of the mechanics of the game are these little badges here but each one is dependent on the situation um like tickle and junk showed up when we tried fishing um the only one i had for when i was trying to get my friend rollo out of a situation was chill but his sister still beat the living crap out of him and dragged him home so we're gonna see if i can find or locate a new charm hey griffin How's the ice cream gig going? I almost thought that was cotton candy. Not great. It's still pretty cold out. And I'm in the business of selling cold. I'm sure things will warm up soon. Mr. Tolliver's not at his grocery stand. He's prepping for the festival, I guess. Gotcha. Mr. Tolliver. I don't know why that one kind of hurt to say. Ah, uh, hey, Bert. Hi, Luca doing some fact-checking for the town history exhibit. Look, kid, I'm just here to put up the lights. But did you know, when the town was founded, there were only seven citizens, and they all worked for a mining company. And there was only one dirt road leading to town. And there still is only one road leading to town. Oh. Right. Uh huh. Anything charmy around here? No. Okay, bye. Oh, right. And last episode, we realized that I can come over here and do this. Yeah, and I got a charm for smacking that ass. Which I'm assuming is going to come in handy. But I went up there, went up there. Can't go into town hall, so I. There's got to be something I'm missing to Sharper Valentine, founder of Beacon Pines. Never underestimate what a great man can do given time. A bit much, if you ask me. I also forgot about the narrator. They like to pop in every once in a while. Indulgent. Okay. So <gasps> ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so if this doesn't work, then... We will go straight to searching alone. Oh, cool. So it actually tells you which ones, too, so I don't have to waste time on that. Okay. Still nothing there. I wonder if I can talk to you. Are you hello? No longer can talk to you. All right, so I talked to everybody here. It looks like I have to go exploring alone, which, I mean, it's going to have to happen. Yo, Solomon. Apologies. No time to chit-chat. Cool! Nice seeing ya! Laters, dude. Uh, what's Jeff's this? hardware closed down about a year ago. The effects of the foul harvest stretched wide. When there are no crops in the field, tractors don't need fixing. I mean, that's fair. Looks like the library hasn't opened yet. I don't know why I was going to say librarian, but that's not it. Let's check back later. Cool, cool, cool. Hello, you, sir. Luca, my boy, hold up a tick. Oh, hey, Mr. Nuncreed. I was just on my way to... I just sold the last jar of your grandmother's preserves. Can't stock the shelves fast enough, turns out. Hey, that's great, but I'm actually... I guess Juniper will just have to swing by with more of her lovely jam. You want my grandmother, don't you? You don't want her jam, you want her. Uh-huh. Well, don't let this old man slow you down. Just remember her. Just remind her that she still owes me that a dance. A promise Gran regretted the second it was made. Dude don't want nothing to do with my grand's jam. He wants her. 
Will do. She's a fine woman, that Juniper. Dude, that's my grandmother. Yeah, she's pretty cool, I guess. A real fine woman. Dude! Uh, gotta go. Sweeter than any jam on earth. Dude. I'm a child. Weird old The phone booth guy. is brand new. Part of Perennial Harvest's Beacon Pines Reborn initiative. Oh my god, a phone it booth. It didn't see much use. I was say, if this is like, dependent on like, what technology that this world will have, a phone booth. I have not seen a phone booth in years. Hey, tiny person. Oh, hey, Luca. Hey, Joey. How's the bug hunt going? Not great. Oh, excuse me. Bugs have... Oh, my God. Ugh. Bugs have been shy this week. Bugs get shy? Oh, sure. Bugs aren't that different from people. Sometimes they just want to be left alone. If you're going into Weep Wood, just be careful where you step. No bug crunching. Got it. Tons of bug crunching. I guess I don't want to go in there. Oh, hello. Luca peeked up at the beehive. It appeared to be deserted. Can I have it? Huh, that's strange. Is it really, though? It sounds like there might be some horrible shiz. Am I going into Weepwood? Yeah, fuck it. Let's go into Weepwood. The path led Ooh. into a small hollow at the edge of Weepwood. Well, I don't think I want to go into Weepwood. Okay, no turning back now. Caution. Electrified fence. Is that a new sign? The fence thrummed with a gentle electric buzz. Okay, so what would Rollo do if he was here? Luca often asked himself what Rollo would do, so that he could rule out that option. That's a very good rule. I'm definitely not touching that thing. I... I, I touch... As Whoa. sparks flew from the fence, the light atop that section shut off. Two bulbs remained. I didn't mean to do that. Can I go this way? Property of Valentine Fertilizer Company. This looks old. I didn't know I could come over here. So what happens if I come down this way? Nothing? Oh. Okay, so I went that way and I went there. So what if I go... This way, nothing. All right. And my mush is gone. No. Not my mush. Zap. That's two. One more to go. Can I have a stick? I guess not. I could do that. So, eh. The fence's buzzing gave way. Just, okay. Moment of truth. Uh, oh. Every kid in town okay. in the old Valentine Fertilizer Building. Long abandoned, the warehouse once served as the industrial heart of Beacon Pines. Now, it stood only as a reminder of things left behind. The dormant building showed strange I signs I mean, of I life. guess that's fine to, to happen. Eh. Okay, so... Rolo wasn't exaggerating for once. What's going on here? There was only one way to find out. Oh my god, no! It's like radiation coming off of there, and I'm pretty sure these trees aren't normal. Can I touch the fence here and get zappacuted? The water looked almost diseased. It flowed slowly into the woods. Oh, shoot. The hose emitted a subtle sound. It was actively draining some kind of liquid. Oh, fuck. I bet you it's poisoning the land and everything. Wow. That smells awful. Too bad Rolo's not here. He'd have no problem poking around in there. Okay, so I might get something from Rolo there. That's only if I can find the other charm to get him to come with me. Locked. Luca thought he heard faint sounds coming from the other side of the door. He pressed his ear against the cold metal to hear better. A zipper? Footsteps. The sound of footsteps grew louder. Dude, you better run, hide in the garbage can. Hello? Uh, 
shit. <laughs> okay. The heavy steel door knocked Luca to the ground. Oh no, this got serious all of a sudden. Disoriented, he looked up to see an imposing figure silhouetted in a green glow. It lunged toward him. He tried to scramble away, but felt a gloved hand latch onto his ankle. Oh, oh, I have the smack thing. Luca watched his fingernails leave trails in the dirt as the hand slowly dragged him back through the door into the lab, into the green light. This is a story about... Change? This is a story about change. Oh, no. It was far from the sort of change Luca imagined for himself. Oh no. But change is, after all, a dangerous animal. The end? I probably should have warned you about this. I was only... He's dead? There are many paths that our story can take. Most will end in tragedy. But don't let that discourage you. We will find the ending that this story deserves. I just know it. Oh my god, so this is almost like the game I played years ago called Stories, A Tale Untold, I believe, where you played a Fox main character and you had to actually go through each scenario with him. And depending on like what you chose, it would open up a new path and then you go back to the beginning and play it again and you would have to relive each one and you could choose which one to actually branch off at that point where you knew it was going to be a horrible ending until you got the true ending. From here on out, a charm will have a check mark when it's been used to its full potential at a given turning point. Okay, so I seen that when we were fishing. Now, let's try something different. Okay, so let's go back here. So I got a new one to deal with a little... <laughs> Oh no. Little shit, in the huh? Past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Great. Roxy was to be a little shit. Make a break for it! What have you done? Ha ha ha! Did that little shit just kick me? Run all you want, you little twerps. You gotta come home eventually. Sorry! Sorry about that. We're looking to get overexcited sometimes. Sorry, Valentine. Current ward of and future successor to the Valentine fortune. Oh, okay. Huffed as he brushed off his pants. A town of complete and utter fools. One wonders if it's worth taking anything here seriously. Either way, I'm really sorry. No matter, how are you doing? Me? Yes, with all that business about your mother and whatnot. Oh, I'm getting by. Still no word from her at all. No, that is truly a shame. Shame! Your grandmother has taken residence to keep house. Yeah. And how is that going? Well, well, we mostly stay out of each other's way. You make it sound like she's rarely at home. It's not like that. She just has a lot to do. Mm-hmm. She's still settling in and trying to figure out how to make ends meet. Is that the right way to... Yeah, maybe? Indeed. Well, count your blessings. It's better to have a caretaker who is rarely around. In lieu of one who tries to compensate by smothering you with attention. That doesn't sound so bad. Trust me when I say, it's best to rely on yourself. Family has a way of creating more problems than they solve. Is that his bodyguard? Solomon. Solomon trifled a gesture toward the approaching heiress, Valentine. Oh, that's his mother. Speak of the devil. Do not wander off like that. I'm too much too busy to be looking all over for you. 
Apologies, Eris. I was just taking a stroll through town. Strolls are for commoners. You're Valentine now. I want you to be present for the construction of the History Museum. The future of this town relies on its ability to remember our family's great past. Of course. Ha! Oops. Well, I mean, at least I have Roland. Oh, uh, you're gonna tell me about how much you want to mac on my grandmother. Look up, my boy. Hold up a tick. Uh, sorry, Mr. Nacreed. Uh, kinda in a hurry right now. Ah! Uh, boy's got too much of his father in him. Oh, wait, I didn't talk to... I win! Okay, a little help. Nah, here we go. I am the champion. Uh-huh. No, oh, were we racing? Did that road get longer? Like, anything ever changes around here. It seemed longer. You're just lightheaded from the run. <laughs> you really need to pace yourself better next time. Not sure why I would take advice from second place. Has that sign always been there? Wait, what? Caution, electrified fence. No, that's definitely new. Creepy. How are we gonna get around an electrified fence? Don't worry, I've got this. Why did you do that? Pa always says you can figure out what the plan was when you're done. Great. What now? Well, I did my part and established that touching the fence is bad. I'm sure you can handle it from here. I'll supervise. Rolo, from a safe distance. I'm sure you will. It's almost like, yar. Oops. It's like. All right, got it off the bound. So let's not do that. Let's come over here. You can follow me over here. Okay, so nothing with that. So nothing new in that area. Give me that. There we go. I think that did it. Luca, you never failed to impress. Okay, so... As the glowing windows of the old warehouse came into view, Rolo began to bounce excitedly. I'm sure he is. Check it out! Dang, Rolo, you weren't exaggerating for once. Was there ever any doubt? Yeah, there was tons. There was so much doubt. This definitely needs investigating. Good thing two ace detectives are on the case. D as long as you don't... This is bizarre. This is awesome! Rumble! Did you feel that? What, the excitement in the air? You bet your butt I did. Check out this puddle! That's not normal. In this hose! Don't touch the door, don't, don't fucking touch the door! Aw oh, man, the door's locked. Try harder. No dice, it won't budge. Oh well. This dumpster is new, right? I bet it's got stuff in it. I can't really see what's in here. Who did all of this? My nose is itching. I think I smell some treasures. Are you sure this isn't the hazardous waste? Just help me get in. Rollo. It wouldn't it would be my honor to throw you in the trash. Come on, Lady Luck! So what's in there? Let's see. There's a squishy bag of squish. Wow. A good inch of stagnant sludge. Your natural habitat. Wait, hold the phone. Hold two phones. Check these bad boys out. Walkies? Are those <gasps> walkie talkies? Just like Hank Atomic Communicators. Do these? Ew, there's shit all over them. Do these actually work? Ground command to Hank Atomic. Hank, do you read me? This is Hank Atomic, ground command. You're coming in five by five. How, um, how are your vital readouts, Hank? It's getting a little stuffy in here. Requesting assistance for evac. Help is on the way. What was that? 
Someone's coming. Give me your hand. I'm trying. My hands are covered in squish. Scoot over. I'm coming in. Oh, the sound. Oh. The mu I, I, I have to see if there's a soundtrack for this. this the music is really good. Um, tell me you saw that. Dude, I don't, I don't know what I saw. He's coming back. Get down! Is that a body? Oh, fuck. That's a body, isn't it? This was supposed to be a cute game. The boy sat petrified under the weight of the bag. Oh, God. Tell me that's not what I think it is. Luca, do you know what separates run-of-the-mill detectives from ace detectives? A ridiculous hat? When the chips are down, ace detectives dig deeper for clues. Felt around at the large sack which burdened them. No, 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 no. Oh, my God, don't. Why would you do that? Aha! He snapped off a tag from just within a small zipper opening in the bag. It's some sort of badge or something. What's it say? Bill held the badge up to a faint shaft of light within the dumpster. Dr. Prescott. Deep engineering. It's a name tag. Who would throw a bag full of slimy old name tags? I think it's just the one name tag in a bag full of something else. Okay. 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 I think we should make a break for it. Stay calm. This is no time to panic. I'm not panicking! You oh, I was gonna say that too. You're panicking! Rolo, calm down. You don't have to squeeze my hand so hard. Dude. No. Oh god, no. I'm not holding your hand. Quit messing around. What other slime covered hand would be in here? Oh! Ah! Ah! Oh, it twitched. I'm beginning to see benefits of your run of the lives plan. Right, we've clearly established that I'm faster than you, so I'll go first. Why not go together? Flaming Chicken Koopa. Chicken Coop, Luca. I'll make sure the coast is clear. After I go, count to 100. If you hear me yell, run. If you don't hear me yell, run. Actually, either way, haul ass. Rolo, I'll give you credit. You sure found an eventful way to start our summer. How are they still there? There's a fucking dead body there. You had an arm on your goddamn hand, dude. It's what I do. Well, here goes nothing. Luca sat in the dark, tracking the oh, sound no. of Rolo's oh, footsteps. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Come on now. One, two, three. He pressed his ear to the dumpster wall, straining to hear Rolo's footsteps as they faded away. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Why would you wait for a hundred? To think about the contents of the dumpster as he counted. Thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven. The thick stench made it hard to breathe. Screw it, that's long enough. Oh, I'm surprised he waited until 37. Luca carefully lifted the lid and peered out. Nothing. No sign of Rollo. No sign of the man in the yellow suit. Time to haul ass. Yeah. Luca clambered from the dumpster, stumbling to his knees. He was up like a shot and running, sprinting toward home as fast as he could. Beacon Pines flew by, blurred by the tears that welled up in his eyes. He wouldn't remember getting home at all that night. I, I, I'm surprised he would remember anything after that shit. Throwing oh my god! Robin, storming up the stairs to his room and surrendering to sleep almost as abruptly as he hit his pillow. Chapter 3 Okay! Chapter 3! Why not? Let's Finding fucking go! The next morning, it was quieter than usual at the breakfast table. Only the sound of silverware and chewing interrupted the awkward silence. I finished jarring a mess of jam last night. Uh-huh. So that'll need to get delivered in town today. Okay. So what did you and Roller get up to yesterday? 
Oh, <laughs> you know, nothing interesting. Oh, they still have a landline. Nifty. Uh. Hello. Oh, yeah, you know what? He's, he's right here. Let me get him. Uh. Calm down. No, of course it was the right thing to do. Start gathering folks. I'll be right there. They found the dead body. Are you sure there isn't anything you want to tell me about yesterday? Anything I want to tell you? Not really. We just sort of ran around a bit. Grand's brow furrowed. Oh. She let out a long no. sigh. Her voice was quiet and even. Uh huh. I have to go take care of something. You are to stay in this house for the day. Under no circumstances are you to leave. What? If I am not back by dinner, there's stew in the ice box. But, but nothing. You are to stay here. Understand? Yeah. Say it. I'll stay here till you get back. Good. Well, that was strange. So why would they call her? Well, that's cool. Okay, neat. Again, amazing sound design. Anything around here that I could snoopulate and see if I can get... Oh, I can run out of here? Oh, sweet tits, man. Is there if I can... <clears throat> I don't think there's anything else technically in the house I can get. I mean, she told me to chill, so I mean... So I got... Oh, I wonder if I can... I got shame, too. A faint electronic sound floated in the air. Oh, apparently I was supposed to do that. Is that coming from upstairs? Yeah, probably, but I wonder if... So shit just has a question mark next to it there. Interesting. Okay. So I really can't change anything there. Hello? Is anyone there? Oh, is it Rolo? Sounds like Morse code. Hello? Rolo, is that you? Do, 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 do. Over. Strange. Luca glanced at the now silent walkie talkie. He wasn't sure what to think. It was do, 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 do. That was Morse code, and. I am horrible at Morse code. Yes, I hear. I got another one. I, 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 I'm, I'm going to keep looking. Okay, so I didn't get anything that would work. I'm not. Can I? Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. And I now want to enter the door. Okay, shit. Oh, hey, Roxy. Is this about me, um, accidentally kicking you yesterday? Is Rolo here? No. Look at me, Luca. This is serious. Is Rolo here? No, I haven't seen him since yesterday. Rolo didn't come home last night. Oh, no. What? A pit formed in Luca's stomach. Where was the last place you saw him? Um, we were playing around in Weepwood, and then it was late and we went home. Weepwood? If he's alive, I'm going to kill that little creep. Is there anything else? Anything that he said? Luca's mouth felt dry. No, we were just messing around. Okay. I need to go let people know to check the woods. You just stay out of trouble. 
go see if he's hiding in the library or something. Luca but could feel his heart beating in his throat. Um, my grand said I wasn't allowed. Rolo. Where are you? Well, apparently I'm breaking my grand's rules already. Well, there was also this way. The road leading to Beacon Pines was long and uninspiring. A sort of natural barrier for the impatient. Okay, so there's nothing there. I'm so that doesn't didn't change jack shit anyway. Whoa. Hey Bert, have you seen Rolo? Nope. Though I've mostly been talking to clipboards, they're setting up lots of festival stuff for there. This one said he had to process some answers. I told him that was fine. I was right here until he gets back. Great. So it looks like it was like cut short real quick. So I wonder if I got new... I mean, I know I'm supposed to be looking for Rolo, but did I get any... I did. Lisa stuck a toy stretchy hand onto the hook. Those things always get dirty anyway. So Smack gives me that. Alright. Stop. And then reel it in. And you put, put it back. And you let it go. And you put it back. Ooh! Should we give it to Mom? She likes jewelry. That's a sweet thought, buckaroo. But I'm not sure she'd fully appreciate a pawn bracelet. That's fair. Alright, so I got everything out of there. I'm sp she told me to go check the library, but I think... I better check here, see if he... maybe? Rolo, where the hell are you, dude? Okay, so nothing, he was definitely not here, so I can mark that off. Alright, so... Really? They, okay. Sorry, dude! Hey, let's check the garbage. No. Howdy, Luca. Hello again, Pete. I'm not Pete, you silly goose. It's Toby. You could have fooled me. Well, hey, it's no problemo. The important thing is, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Yeah, I'm getting that impression. Uh, something special, Luca, and it all starts right here in Beacon Pines. I got it. Up from the clipboard excitedly. That's right. So how about you start by telling me... Look, no offense, but I've got my own stuff to take care of. Gah, you joker. We're all part of this together. Just let me know when you're free to answer questions. I'm never, never free, dude. We really need to get back to work. Just a couple more minutes. If Roxy said she will be here, then she will be here. I just don't see why I'm standing around doing nothing and waiting for Roxy when I could be standing around and doing nothing and getting paid for it. Come on, Lumi. Roxy needs our help. Ah, my parents wouldn't listen. No offense, but isn't Rolo always getting into trouble? Something feels different this time. What can we do to help? We need to check where the adults aren't, so I guess it's up to us to check Weepwood. Our shift doesn't end for another couple of hours. We can spend the time making posters. That would be great, I guess. Right, Fitz and I will check the Weepwoods. We'll be back later to pick up the posters. I think my dad has a map of Weepwoods. Let's swing by my house and grab it before we head out. All right, so there's two new people there talking to the mayor. What's this about a missing child? I must stress the situation is completely under control. It just all seems so terrible. And you're sure there's nothing we can do to help? Nonsense. Young Mr. Cotter will turn up safe and sound, I am certain. Just focus on settling in. I trust my sister has supplied you with a suitable lodging? Oh yes, Mr. Valentine has been... Miss Valentine has been more than accommodating. We were just telling our daughter back... Uh, back that. Now where did she run off to? Uh, right here somewhere, probably. 
Um, so if I come up here, here we go. Hi, Luca, what's up? Have you, you haven't seen Rolo around recently, have you? He doesn't come around here much. Not since they made a rule that he can only order decaf. Alright, oh, oh, wait, um, no, I'm not gonna go in. Um, his eyes went wide. What do you mean, vanish? It's impossible. Oh my, he doesn't even see the danger he's in. Oh, trust me, lady, I know. Can I go in here? No. Um, yeah, they're not talking to the people who would be useful. Hey, Don. <sighs> Is it true about Rolo? Yeah, he didn't come home last night. I wonder if it's connected. Connected to what? I was checking in on reports about increased activity around town. What sort of activity? Windowless trucks, mechanical noises, strange lights, your typical shady stuff. Who would be doing all that and why? Well, I have a few leads. The Valentine family is always suspicious. Perennial Harvest certainly has the resources. Do you have any idea where Rolo could be? The place to start looking is where the trail went cold. Where did you see him last? We were, we were in Weepwood, right by Valentine's Fertilizer. I'll check out Weepwood when my shift ends. I'll do my best work at night. All right. Still locked. Okay, hey, bye. All right, so I'm gonna check out the. Oh, the library's open. Cool. All right, and we get <gasps> a ping. Wow. Kato volunteered at the library Kato! during the summers. He wasn't very social, so he dedicated each summer to becoming Kato. an expert in a single subject. Is Kato the person behind the counter? Making him a reliable source of very particular knowledge. If you were to ask Kato something he didn't know, he'd escape into the dusty old bookshelves and return with just the right thing. Oh, yeah. Hey, Kato. Kato was lost in his reading. Luca crooked his neck to see the title. Introduction to Melatology. <clears throat> oh, hey, Luca. You snuck up on me. Good book. I don't know. Just started he it. gestured to the shelves. I'm really running out of books I haven't read. So now it's on to the wonderful world of bees. Oh. Turns out, bees are pretty cool. For instance, did you know that around 70% of bee species actually live in underground tunnels? Oh. Or if there are two queens in a hive, they will fight to the death for supremacy? Fight. That's interesting, but you haven't seen Rolo around recently, have you? Not since yesterday. Keep an eye out for him, okay? Sure thing. If I see him, you'll be the first to know. All right. So I just got fight. Hmm. Okay, so fighting doesn't help in that scenario. But shit still has a question mark on it. So I'm wondering if there was a way to if there is a way to change that. The entire top level of the library was devoted to comics, most of which were Hank Atomic and the myriad of lesser revered spin-off. Okay. So nothing of importance there. It's actually a cute little library. Mycological phosphorescence. Ugh, more like my complete loss of interest. The bottom corner shelf was a dusty array of thick science books. Only one binding was clean enough to read. Cellular biology and the chemistry of mitosis. Boring. Hey, Jace. Oh, hey, Luca. Did Rolo come by? No. I was actually surprised. He's usually here early on days when a new issue drops. Rolo's the biggest Hank Atomic fan I know. Besides myself, that is. Well, if he does swing by, tell him to meet me you know where. I don't know where. No, he knows where. Oh. Roger that, Space Cadet. Alright, let's hear. 
There were rarely any actual new additions, simply a variety of existing content rotated into the front display each week. Not fooling anyone. Oh, the cobs I've eaten. A salad-centric travel guide for the mildly adventurous. Yuck. Sally Seashore's simple succulent sundries. What? Luca brushed off a smudge of dust. Or maybe it was flour. 30 recipes so easy you'll doubt it's even edible. Um, succulent? A All peek right. behind the curtain. The methods and ruminations of Patrick C. Montesquieu, one of the greatest acting minds of our time, by Patrick C. Montesquieu. Okay. Oof. All right, so I got another one that's. See, I don't think anything would change that, and I don't know why. I mean, there's a question mark, so maybe something would change it? What sort of monster puts candy behind a locked door? Oh yeah, Mr. Decreed works weird hours sometimes. Of course he does. How about you? When do I work? No, what's your name? Oh, <laughs> Luca Van Horn. You new here? Yep, not by choice. That family moved often. Uh, okay, that they they're the mothers that were in the okay. Giving her little time to establish any real connections. She would tell you she prefers it that way. I'm looking for my friend Rolo. He didn't come home last night. So he's missing? I guess so. Like missing missing? No, missing found. Does that certain thing happen a lot around here? Luca shifted his feet uncomfortably. Well, that sucks. Yeah, so I should probably get going. A hey, wait up. What? Beck pulled a coin from her pocket. I'm coming with you. What? So heads, okay. So says the unlucky penny. Unlucky. Yep, well, technically it landed on heads. Leave this kid to find his friend alone, but I always do the opposite. Oh, that's kind of like me and Rolo. I guess Rolo is my unlucky penny. That settles it. A person should never be without their unlucky penny. Let's go find him. Well, that's nice of her. The name's Beck. Pleasure to meet you, Beck. I suppose I could use some help. Try to keep up. Cool, cool, cool. And we have a friend. And we're going to the woods. Joey, have you seen Rolo around? No, sorry, Luca. I've had my eyes in the dirt looking for beetles. I can't seem to find any. He never came home last night. Do you think it's because it's been colder than normal? I don't see why that would have anything to do with Rolo. No, the beetles. Do you think the temperature confused their circadian rhythm or something? Who's to say, Joey? I'm no beetleologist. Just keep an eye out for him, would you? Of course. Luca peeked up at the beach. It appeared to be deserted. Weird. Okay, so what's... Oh, it's a mansion. Okay, well, we're going to go in the deep woods. We got to find Rolo. Oh. That's not good. Dang, they boarded up the way in. Shiz nuts. That's not good. Luca felt a chill as he approached Beck. Her eyes were locked on the strange green liquid. The nearby grass was coated in a fine layer of frost. Uh, is this sort of thing normal around here? Because puddles of glowing ooze are definitely not what I expected from this place. I have no idea what that stuff is. Well, the next obvious step is science. And what does science suggest? Poke it with a stick. Luca watched as Beck dipped a broken tree branch into That's the dew. That's fair. That is fair. Beck's eyes widened as flowers grew from the dead wood. First small buds. What? Which quickly bloomed into vibrant petals. What the? Cool. As quickly as they had grown, the flowers began to shrivel and turn gray. Beck dropped the stick with a grunt of disgust. 
Okay. So the science tells us this gunk is weird as hell. Uh, yeah, it seems dangerous. Hey, Tish, look what the cat dragged in. What the fuck are you supposed to be? Yep. I don't have time for this right now, Iggy. Ah, uh, don't say things like that. It hurts Tish's feelings. Ain't that right, Tish? Yup. She looks fine to me. Why, hello. I don't think we have been properly introduced. Iggy's his name. This is my compatriot, Tish. Yup. You've probably heard of us. Can't say I have. I'll forgive you just this once, on account of you being new around here. Why would you hang out with this dud? Oh, he seems pretty alright. Iggy, why do you have to be so... You. Has he even told you that his parents skipped out on him? Shut up. It's true. They got tired of having such a pathetic kid and left him. Iggy, I'm only going to say this one time. Don't. Talk. About. My family. <laughs> well, look who's grown a backbone now that a girl's around. First his pops croaked, then his mom finally couldn't take it anymore and bounced. Oh. He took a step towards Luca, his sneer lit by the glowing puddle. Beck could see tears welling in Luca's Please. eyes, his fists clenched. Some things about Beacon Pines were very different from the city, but a bully from a hayseed town is really no different Please from tell the me, city I, I have Beck the fight command. Well, time to bust out the... No! Uh, bust out the strange. Well, Fuck it. Time to bust out the strange. All right, Luca. Looks like you need a little mud bath. What's wrong with you, new kid? We're about to pound your friend. Beck stared in silence. The only sign of life being the twitch of an eye. It's weird when people don't talk. Yup. Stop being a weirdo. Uh, hello, are you some kind of wackadoo? Makes sense wackadoos travel in packs, eh, dude? At the sight of Iggy taunting back, something in Luca snapped. Iggy smirk shifted to a look of shock as Luca launched himself into his stomach. Harg! Iggy's Oof. clothes were drenched in the glowing ooze. You jerk, my clothes are ruined. I'm Iggy's gonna... Iggy's voice began to slur as he struggled to get up. Uh oh. I don't feel so good. Health! Oh, oh shit. Yup. Um, okay, well, we're gonna pause right there for a second, and, um, I'm gonna have to end the episode there, because I'm a little bit over time, so Iggy, we just met Iggy, and he got extremely bone zoned in that area. Okay, so Strange got that. Struggle. Ooh, I could struggle here and see what happens there. Shit's completely used. Okay, so tickle and struggle. So we'll see what happens with that. But I'm going to leave this here for right now. So with that being said, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, let me know in the comments below. And as always, by subscribing, I get to see you guys in the next video.